I have an unhealthy obsession with sling bags. Let me explain why you should consider having a sling bag a part of your EDC. And maybe I can justify this big splurge of bags that I just plopped on this table. <laughs> Hey, what's going on YouTube? Marine X back at it again. Yeah, so I've had my fair share of sling bags. I could say I've had all sorts of different options and uh, all the way from the very, very, very cheap and almost useless to the like insanely, insanely priced. And I'm almost concerned about why did I make that purchase? But a sling bag in your EDC, I think is a vital item and you don't have to carry it every day, but there's so many reasons why I've fallen in love with carrying sling bags, whether it's warm weather or cold weather, they have a lot of different use cases. Shout out to Tom Talk for sponsoring today's video. And I wanna talk about their most premium and their newest bag that kind of joins alongside their Tom Talk Explorer collection. but. The bigger picture I wanna talk about, why do I like sling bags? Why do I carry them? And where do you go if you're considering one yourself? I get emails quite often. I got an email today from a young man and he said, hey, I have a knife, I have a wallet. I have this, I have that. What would you consider to be the next purchase? I can spend less than a hundred bucks and I wanna be able to have all my stuff with me. Do you own a sling bag? It's it's an easy recommendation for me. And then here's my big fat collection of Tom Talk sling bags. And we'll talk about why I love sling bags so much. What other option do you have if you're an extreme EDC juggernaut? You like to carry a phone, a knife, a wallet, you're wearing a watch, you may have a pride tool and a handkerchief, and maybe you're a dad, you got a bunch of diapers and a change of outfits and some baby wipes and formula. I'm, I'm, I'm splurging and I'm telling you everything that happens to me on a daily basis, but in one solid recommendation, I can have everything I need everywhere. Let me explain. So one of my sling bags may be completely outfitted with a bunch of diapers and wipes and extra items just in case I need them. This happens all the time. But the biggest thing about having a sling bag within your EDC is you can now carry things that would normally take up your pockets and carry them all in one solution. Imagine you have reading glasses you don't wear all the time or blue light glasses. You have a wallet, you have a passport, you have your keys, your phone everything that you would normally just try to figure out how to stuff in different pockets or maybe give to a spouse and have he or she stuff it in their pockets as well. You can now do it relatively easily. They have protection from pickpockets. A thief is going to be a thief. Let, let's just keep it real. But a sling bag makes it so that you have that extra layer of protection because if you have the items in front of you, maybe you have them underneath a jacket, you're less likely to get your stuff pickpocketed in a large crowd. You can bring snacks. You can bring drinks. You can have your IDs. You can have all sorts of stuff inside of a sling bag. It also can relieve back strain and neck strain of carrying a traditional backpack. And if you're not having things traditionally on your shoulders, you can kind of just plop those and have those on there on the ready. So I'm an advocate, me personally, I like carrying sling bags a little bit more than your traditional over the two shoulder traditional backpack. Tom Talk has just made it so that if you're getting into the game, you don't want to start off with the super budget sling bag. You can go from the normal run of the mill budget entry level sling bag and fully customize your bag. This is the Tom Talk XU Pro. They basically redefined the way you carry a sling bag in the rain. This is a bag that you can carry. It's made of X pack. Long before they knew I was on their radar, I had their bags. Long before they knew who this who anything about this channel or who I was, I had their bags. I wanted an EDC solution that can not only carry all the stuff that I didn't want way down in a pocket, but also the occasional items that can't go in a pocket, like an iPad mini. I can't stick this in it. Well, I guess I could if I'm wearing cargo pockets, but I don't freaking wear cargo pockets and stuff like that. That led me to their starter line of bags. That led me to their first Explorer series bag. That led me to doing a YouTube video about this bag two years ago. And I have a lot of gripes, moans, and complaints about this, but this started my love for EDC sling bags and it's led me to this position today. Why would you stuff everything in pockets all the time? Today, I'm wearing some very casual type shorts, which are not conducive. They don't have a belt. The drawstring doesn't work that great. 
They're not conducive to weighing them down with a wallet and keys, headphones, a knife, possibly got to stick some stuff in there that has to do with a kiddo. This happens more often than not. And I noticed that at the beginning of the pandemic, as we get our way out of it, I noticed that if I ran to the store, I was wearing crap like this. I was wearing joggers. I was wearing basketball shorts. I was wearing light, casual shorts that they weren't conducive to carrying all the stuff that I wanted. Tom Tog drops this bag and they're bringing it to a different level. MSRP on this thing is $99. Let me just tell you straight off the bat, what's my recommendation? Tom Talk did not see this bag, this video before you. My recommendation on this is because I've already done a review on Tom Talk's Explore Sling Bags. This is the Explore Sling Bag on crack. It's way better. They've muted the logo, made it a lot smaller and more muted because as much as I like these old series of bags, their logos were just, you know, there were there was a lot left to be said. First off, they started to chip away at the bags the more and more I carried them. They got rid of that problem with the the more customizable bags. They've also gone with this premium X-Pack material. So now you have more confidence carrying your stuff in the rain. I'm not going to lie to you. I really had no big issues carrying the Tom Tock bag in the rain. But when it really started to like piss rain, I would shy away from carrying this thing on the outside layers. I was sticking it under a poncho or sticking it in a vehicle. This now has like those aqua guard. I don't even know if that's what they call them, but those aqua guard type zippers that give that extra layer of protection. It's X-Pack material, which is more water resistant overall. It has premium YKK zippers. The thing about this, they've made complete improvements on these bags from when I first had them. Now I have these magnetic closures on the actual sling itself and you can choose what type of buckle that you want i got the magnetic one which is satisfying to use it has a small lanyard so you can actually pull this thing off clap it on makes life that much easier i also got it in this super hyper blue interior on the inside makes it that much easier to see the items when you're ruffling through this stuff and then the very back is where i normally put those items i really want close to my chest and maybe don't grow legs or something like that i still have the same complaints about the tom talk bags it does not matter whether it is this custom bag or if it's a Tom Talk X Pack bag with this hyper orange interior, which gets grandpa excited. This has a different snap buckle, which is a premium buckle made of metal instead of the plastic buckles that they've used in the past. Still the same complaint. The thing about these bags, it still has not changed my complaints about the bag. So, first off, the sling itself still has a vertical, it's, it's still connected at the top part of the bag here, which means that the bag kind of forces, I'm right-handed, so I prefer to keep it right here so I can unzip it, go through the bag and do what I see fit. It forces the bag to stay upright like this. If you want the bag to be more vertical, you have to change shoulders and it's almost vertical, but it's not, it doesn't have as many carry options, especially if, the, if these were both on the either side of the bag, but that's like a first world problem is I can't remove the straps. These straps being able to be removed would means that this bag goes from a sling to a travel tech accessory bag. Imagine I wanna take my iPad, I wanna throw it in here. I wanna take a phone, I wanna throw it in here. I got some freaking Google Pods. I wanna throw it in here. And I just wanna take this whole bag, toss it in a backpack, toss it in my carry-on luggage, take this out on a plane and allow this to set on a desk and allow this to kind of be my tech accessory bag. It's not really useful for that. And I understand that you can just take these, you can take the strap off, you can tuck the sling inside, but I want the real estate. I want the space inside the bag. That's been the same since the very first Explorer all the way down to the XU Pro. Same complaint, you can't take the straps off, but it's just something to think about. Another thing is when you're wearing these bags, just like any other sling bag, is when you have this thing on, if you tend to wear your bags lower, I have this up, near the pectoralis, what pectoralis major, pectoralis minor, whichever one it is. If you have this thing up higher, then it's not as bad. But if you tend to wear your sling bag lower, if you bend down, if you bend up or whatever, the bag will sling behind you and slap you in the back of the grate. You're not gonna be attaching this, uh, uh, an additional accessory on this thing to keep the bag from slapping you in the back of the grate. I would say my last negative would be, there is no loop paneling on this bag whatsoever. If it doesn't have to be on the outside, but at least on the inside, if there was some loop paneling, if you have RE's, if you have accessories that connect via a uh, hook and loop, it would be nice to have something that I can just quickly slap inside the bag, even with my gripe, moans, and complaints. And Tom Talk, you know, I've told you about my gripe, moans, and complaints before. 
can I recommend the Tom Talk XU Pro? Yes, this is the first bag from Tom Talk, which they go full customizable. They have jumped the whale, not just jumped the shark, but jumped the whale, which I say is a positive way. This is the Tom Talk XU bag. This was kind of like their first customizable bag, kind of in the that was adjacent to that Explorer series. I got one customized, got my little name on the side, got my the color choice in the front, got my different color choice in the back, but that was kind of really it. I kind of was still stuck with it, more premium, you know, uh, actual buckle here, but I didn't have as many buckle choices. You don't get those AquaGuard zippers with it has a little bit more water protection. You can't choose the interior color. You're stuck with the one that they give you. EDC sling bags within your daily carry. I recommend it. It doesn't matter if you're a dad and you just want to be able to have those diapers and wipes and snacks and pouches and all that other type of crap. It doesn't matter if you're just a tech head and you just want to be able to have all the stuff that you don't want to carry in your pockets, battery bags, charging cables, notepads, pens, poindexter mode, or if you're just kind of in the sweet spot in a normal everyday carry Joe, where you want to have lip balm, you want to have nail clippers, you want to have a pry bar and a hank, but you don't want all that in your pocket. This is something that's super interesting to me, and it might be interesting to you as well. If this is your first time stopping by, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you a part of the battalion. If this is not your first time stopping by, well, thank you once again for watching me run my grape. For everyone else, we'll speak soon.